My views on ISIS are, are, are pretty different from what the, the, the general view is in the West. Um, despite the attacks in, in Paris and Beirut and other places, and, and God forbid in Belgium or uh, other places, um, I still believe that the, um, this is a war within Islam. ISIS is, has got two or three aims which are very different from the aims of Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda wanted to destroy the West and topple Western capitalism. ISIS is something I think very different. Uh, ISIS wants to uh, reconstitute the Muslim world. It wants to draw new borders, it wants to establish the Caliphate. It has a vision of the future which is a completely warped and, and, and lopsided vision. But it is a vision which I think is very different from what we've experienced before. So the, f the first thing is they want to redraw the borders. The second thing is the elimination of minorities, which includes not just uh, non-Muslims, but even Shias. And this is a, a lethal and deadly part of, of their campaign, um, which again you know, makes them um, uh, different from uh, Al-Qaeda today or um, uh, even the Taliban today, uh, who, who are uh, quite restrained as far as the um, uh, minorities are concerned. You may well ask, well, well, why are you attacking Paris? And why are you attacking these other cities? Well, I think the, the issue really is that ISIS is, in a sense, these attacks um, are, def are, are um, uh, defensive measures for ISIS. ISIS is, es is essentially sending the message to the West that if you bomb us, we're going to bomb you back. And um, I don't think it's any more than that. Why France? Probably the best logistical setup that they have is in Belgium and France. The, there, might, there must be, or might be, very practical reasons as to why they've chosen those two countries. And there could be other countries that they choose which, which, where they don't have the kind of logistical apparatus um, that they've shown. Uh, if you've seen in France, I mean, these safe houses, they're full of weapons and uh, grenades and you know, all the rest of it. The end of this analysis means that the Muslim world has to mobilize to fight ISIS. And the West's task is not to fight necessarily <coughs> ISIS itself, but to help mobilize the Muslim world and unite the Muslim world. Now, what, if, what, kind, what is the state of affairs in the Muslim world? You've got Turkey, which, which wants to slam the Kurds and is essentially out to get the Kurds come what may. You've got the Gulf states and Saudi Arabia, which are determined to confront Iran and which um, uh, consider Iran a bigger enemy than ISIS. The Muslim world is deeply divided, but spe especially the Arab world. And I don't believe for a moment that this coalition should be led by the Americans. I think the Americans should play a critical part in the coalition, but the coalition should be led by the Arab, Arab Muslim Arabs leaders themselves. And that means bringing some kind of unity within them. Unfortunately, the kind of pressure and leverage that the West, particularly the Americans, have in the Middle East has really not been utilized. And uh, only now are we seeing Kerry meeting in Vienna with the Arab leaders and, and trying to bring the Russians and the Iranians on board and trying to get um, the Arabs um, uh, out of Yemen and to focus on ISIS. This is five years too late. The Americans should have been doing this from year one rather than you know, five years down the line. And they were prompted to do this only because the Russians have come into the game. So um, I think it's absolutely critical that Muslim leaders um, see the reality of, of the threat that they face, which is from ISIS, it's not from Iran, it's not from the Kurds, it's not from anyone else. Um, they unite and they actually make some kind of progress towards leading this coalition. Um, the coalition started with air power from Saudi Arabia and the UAE. Both have pulled out. They're using their air power in Yemen rather than in, 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 uh, against ISIS. And so you've got more French and more American planes having to be used in, um, uh, uh, you know, in Syria and Iraq. So, so I, you know, I really think that you know, the failure at the moment is, is our failure, uh, the Muslim world's failure. And th the responsibility, ultimately, of defeating ISIS has to be that of the Muslim world, with, as much, uh, with much greater cooperation and much greater commitment from the West than we've seen so far.